today we're going to make pasta alla carbonara. What do you need? You need an egg, you need some parmesan, and I have already some grated parmesan here. And then at the end you will need some parsley. And I'll take some here for later. So we start. We take one egg. We break it into the bowl. And what do you do? You just mix it. Like you're making a frittata, we say in Italy, but a omelette. Then you add some Parmesan cheese. Some ground pepper. That's really important. And you mix it really well. Eggs are an excellent source of protein in a food with a relatively low energy content. 12.4% of proteins and 150 kilojoules per 100 grams. Now I'll chop some parsley very thinly. And that you'll need it to garnish the plate at the end. And we leave it here. Now I'll go to put the water on the top of the stove. You need a large pan to boil the water. And when it boils, you need to add some dash of salt. I would say something like this. It will stop boiling for a while. And when it resumes, then you add the dry pasta. Pasta is a wonderful source of complex carbohydrates uh, that uh, should be more present in our food habits. And you cook it as long as the packaging structures say. And you need to cook it al dente, remember, which means literally to the tooth. Now you drain the pasta, and when it's drained, you take a skillet, like this, a pan, and you get the pasta. Put it into the skillet, thank you. You toss it a little bit on the fire, and then you add the eggs. And you just toss it like this, which is really easy and quick. And you should cook a little bit the egg, because otherwise it's raw, it's not good for you. For you. And when you see that it starts cooking a little bit and it becomes creamy, then you put over the plate, oh, that's nice. And then you sprinkle with some parsley and some pepper.